Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV with a free NBA preview for your late night game tonight on Monday at 10 p.m. Eastern on NBA TV between the Cavaliers and Kings. I'm going to let you know the best way to play this game and make some money tonight on Monday. Hey, if you're finding these daily solo video previews useful, do us a quick couple favors here on Wager Talk TV. Hit the thumbs up, the like button, and be sure to hit subscribe as well. And if you want instant alerts, hit the bell so you know when these videos go up each and every day. And comment below. I read all the comments and I reply back. Let's win together tonight on Monday. Let me know the other games you like, the other best bets you like in the NBA tonight on Monday as well. All right, the NBA uh, in-season tournament began this past Friday, and it was good for both of these teams as uh, both Cleveland and Sacramento won outright as underdogs to start the tournament off. Uh, Sacramento, of course, a home dog went against the Thunder on Friday night. Cleveland, an even bigger dog, went on Saturday at Golden State. So we'll see how they continue to use that momentum tonight. Both teams are rested. Sacramento extra rested, though, with both Saturday and Sunday off and remaining at home. So I think some of their players will look for a good offensive performance tonight. So I want to isolate maybe one to focus on for an over player prop. Uh, by the way, the early money, at least the line move Monday morning, was on Cleveland and the under in this game. Opened as high as 226 overnight. It's now down to 221 on the total. And Cleveland opened as a one-point dog. They're now a three-point favorite. I think a lot of the reasons that was just injury-related. The uh, Monday morning injury report comes out. De'Aaron Fox, star shooting guard, star point guard for the Kings. Their leading scorer is doubtful once again uh, with his ankle injury. He has not played, of course, since the end of October. So nothing new there. But there was some thought maybe he'd be back after resting this weekend. Does not look like that's the case. So I want to look at some player props for the Kings. Guys that might step up once again in his absence. Uh, first of all, their best player is Sabonis, obviously, when Fox isn't on the court. But he just had a triple-double Saturday, or Friday, rather. Uh, so he's going to probably be a little inflated tonight. On the season, he's averaging 17.5. Uh, his points is at 18.5. But I'd look for him to be a main focus for Cleveland. Uh, Harrison Barnes had a terrible game, by the way. Uh, played 26 minutes, only made one field goal in 26 minutes, four points. So maybe he bounces back. His over-unders at 11.5. But the guy I want to focus on here for the Kings is Kevin Herter. And Herter put a hurt on the Oklahoma City Thunder on Friday with a season-high 28 points, and he took a 19 field goal attempts. Yes, he shot extremely well, 58% from the field, 40% from three. And normally that concerns me. I look for a bounce back or for the other team to focus on him. But I think that was a breakout game for Herter. Keep in mind, he put up 17 points in the overtime win against Portland last Wednesday. He's taken 32 field goal attempts and 19 three-pointer attempts in those last two games. That's what you want to look for when playing player prop points over because you want the field goal attempts. Yes, the shooting's going to be up and down. You're going to have some fortunate wins or bad losses during the, a short span. But when they're getting field goal attempts and they're getting minutes, that's what I like to focus on. And I think it makes a lot of sense. Herter has been playing more without Fox in the lineup. He's the one guy that's really benefited uh, from Fox not playing. Herter's a shooting guard, of course, a 6'7 shooting guard out of Maryland. I was drafted in the first round back in 2018 by the Hawks. And I think he's having some breakout games here. We're going to continue to ride him over his point total. Checking DraftKings here on Monday morning, uh, we're seeing Herter's current point total uh, right around 15 and a half. I think that's a very reasonable number. So let's look at Kevin Herter for the Sacramento Kings over 15 and a half total points tonight on Monday, 10 o'clock Eastern on NBA TV against the Cavs. Once again, he's had 28, 17, and 13 in his last three games. He is definitely trending upward. And I think he's still priced below what he should be, especially if Fox doesn't play tonight, as it looks like he will not. The Aaron Fox, once again, listed as doubtful for this game. Kevin Herter, over 15 and a half total points on Monday. Let me know your thoughts below. What you like in this game, the other NBA games tonight as well. Don't forget, it is half price Monday right now at wagertalk.com. Get my official best bets tonight. Football and basketball best bets are all half price instant. 50% discount. And if you missed out this past weekend, I'm extending a special promo code another week here, and that's an instant $50 discount on any 30-day subscription with promo code ALL30, A-L-L-3-0. ALL30 gets you an instant $50 discount on any 30-day package. It can be football, basketball, or all sports. Check out that great offer, and check out daily free plays as well on my page, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. And of course, get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter as well, at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on Twitter. And I'm posting some of these free plays daily on Instagram as well. So follow me on Instagram, Merrill underscore Steve, and follow Wager Talk as well on IG. Hey, stay tuned right here to Wager Talk TV for more great football and basketball preview videos coming up next.